Wherever you are located around the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to America Cyber Squad's YouTube channel. Um, today we are going to be looking at how to create a simple cybersecurity lab part two. Remember, we talked about part one. So today let's take a look at part two. All right. And so just as usual, a very uh, basic uh, introduction of myself. As usual, for those who are new to the channel, um, my name is Akosin Akotar. I am a senior cybersecurity vulnerability management analyst and a subject matter expert and AI optimization strategist. All right, so we're going to move straight away with, um, you know, the reason why we're here today. Uh, but before we we continue, could you just you know uh, subscribe, hit the notification button, share, comment, you know like the video, uh, so that you're going to encourage us to do more videos like this in the future. All right. Um, just a recap. I think remember last time we talked about um, building our uh, a simple cybersecurity home lab. Uh, we did a part one, and we said that building a home lab, the easiest way, the cheapest way to do that is through the um, concept of virtualization. And we said, instead of going out there and buying hardware, you know, which is very expensive, why don't you use the computer that you have, your host computer, on top of that, you build other computers and then you use the join together and form a home lab, right? So we started a process, we talked about virtualization and we said for, um, in order for you to build other computers on your host computer, uh, we need an instance, we need a specific thing called a hypervisor, all right? We need something called a hypervisor and it is on that hypervisor that we're gonna be building each machine, each virtual machine, all right? So here is your host computer. And on top of your host computer, we're going to put an instance called a hypervisor. Um, in this case, we're going to be using what we call Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. All right. Then once we have that, we already did that in the last video. So if you have not watched that video, just go to our description. I'm going to drop the link there. All right. And then on top of the hypervisor, we will build different virtual machines. So depending on the resources of your host computer, we also talked about the perfect resources that you need for your home, your host computer to have before you are able to build machines. So again, go to that video, um, uh, building a simple cybersecurity home lab part one. All right. So we have different virtual machines that we put on top of that hypervisor, depending on your use case, depending on how many you need. Okay. Um, we had promised that we will do both Metasploitable 2 and Kali Linux for this specific video, but because of time constraint, I don't want one video to be to be very long. So I want to make it short, like 10, 15 minutes. So we are not going to be looking at Metasploitable in this video. We'll look at Metasploitable in our next video. So for today, we're going to be seeing how we can build a Kali Linux. The Kali Linux is an attack box that ethical hackers around the world, even hackers, the bad guys, the threat actors, they use that. So this is the most powerful tool so far that bad actors use in order to launch cyber attacks. They use that to exploit vulnerabilities. All right? So um, the link to us getting uh, or building this machine is found here. So I'm also going to be dropping this link in our description. So for me right now, I'm just going to click on this. That is going to take me directly to the installer image. So I just need to click on the installer image and then come down here and click on downloads. All right. So when I click on downloads, that's going to take a while for that to happen. All right. So let me get rid of this. Oh, 
Okay, so as you can see, um, I have that already. Yeah, it is. So this is called an ISO image. You know what we just downloaded from the uh, Kali Linux website. Um, this is an ISO image. And remember back in the day when someone wants to build a computer, you know, you know you have the hardware, but it's not functional if you don't have an operating system installed on that on that hardware, right? So back in the day when uh, people want to install Windows operating system, what did they need? They need the, you know, they had this CD ROM, this uh, CD and, and and you know DVD that they insert, Blu-ray that they insert into the computer, and then they follow some process and then get that installed. So this is that CD, right, in this ISO that we're going to be using to build our virtual machines, okay? So uh, remember, we have our, our hypervisor already. So this is my hypervisor, which I have right here. All right, so this is my hypervisor. On this hypervisor, you saw how we had a diagram, your host computer, your hypervisor, and those different virtual machines. So it's the same thing. So this is our hypervisor that we've installed on our host computer. And on this hypervisor, we are going to be building machines. So just click on new. And here you put Kali, Kali Linux. All right, so leave everything as is for type. You leave it at Linux. Then here I want you to take Debian and leave it at Debian um, 64. Okay, leave everything the same here. And here, then take you can take this one to two um, CPUs, and then uh, twenty gigabytes of hard disk. So just leave it that way, and then click finish. So you can see that initially we didn't have anything here, but now we have uh, started the process of building a Kali Linux machine here. That's why we were able to see this VM here. But now we really need. Let's try to configure this first before we start building it. So let's go to settings and then display, and then pull the video memory right up to the end. Then for the storage, let's go and bring in that ISO image that we downloaded from the website. So here it is, I double click on it, right? So I have it right now. And then I go to network, I want, my the network of this virtual machine to be the same network as my home, right? My local area network. So I'm going to do something called bridging. So I'm going to bridge this. So I come here, I take bridge adapter, and uh, I think that's all I want to do here. Then I say, okay, now I'm going to start this. I'm going to start, it's going to take me to the process of you know building this whole machine. Right. Uh, just give it a few moments. Just give that a few moments. And uh, we're going to move. All right. So at this point, just try enter. All right, so that's gonna take a little while. All right, so um, it comes now to the screen where you have to pick a language. I pick English, I'm in the United States. Right, so just let that run out to the end.
All right. So at this point, I I would just leave it at Kali, uh, the host name, and then mm, nothing for domain name if you. That's not very important. And then to continue, and then here you can just put your name, right? So make sure you remember the username. So you can choose whatever username you want, uh, but make sure you remember that username because that's what you're going to be using to um, log into your uh, calendar. And then make sure your password is strong. If not, Cal is going to reject that. All right, so I'm instant time. So just pick your time zone. All righty. So that is working in the background right now. So it's trying to partition the disk. All right, so at this point, just leave it at uh, guided use entire disk and then click continue. And then uh, take the first option. And then finish partitioning and write changes to disk, just click continue. And then, um, here, write the changes to the disk. Just click yes and continue. All right, so at this juncture, just um, leave everything as is, the software selection, and click continue. All right, so um, when you come to the install group bootloader, um, leave it at yes and continue. And here where they say enter device manually, do not put the step down, select the second one and continue. And um, I think that will be the final stage of this download, this install. All right. All right, so I think our installation is complete. I'm just going to click on continue. And that is going to be the end of the process. All right, so um, that is finishing the installation right now. And our um, Calix is coming up. So that's booting right now as a computer system would, operating system would normally boot. So when it goes through the booting process, um, then it's going to bring us to um, the login page, remember I said you need to remember your username and password. So once that comes up to the login page, then you put in your username and password like now. All right, password. Okay, so 
Um, I now have my Kali Linux. We are going to continue um, with the installation or the building of our Metasploitable tool um, in the next video. Okay, so with my Kali Linux, I can do a lot of things with my Kali Linux. I can check um, what the IP address of this machine is, right? Uh, okay, that is a one nine to the one six eight or one. Okay, so that means that this is in the same network because we bridged as my local area network, right? Remember, we bridged that, so I can check the IP of my host computer, and it's also going to be a one nine to the one six eight or one. So this now is IP config for Windows computers. So you can see. Um, this is my IP, 192.168.1.69. All right, so when we build our Metasploitable, we're also going to bridge that to fall within this local area network. All right, so guys, take the rendezvous for our next video. Do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. All right, see you guys. Bye for now.